Good day, I'm Yveka Rangapa. Thousands of miners at Anglo Platinum's Komanani mine in Rustenburg are refusing to work after news that 14,000 workers could be retrenched. Amplatz also plans to shut four shafts. The ANC has condemned the restructuring plans, saying it goes against the commitment between the business and the party to grow the country's economy. Govan Whittles has the latest from Rustenburg. Hundreds of Anglo Platinum miners have gathered outside the Komanani shaft today waiting for feedback from their workers' committee. They're planning an unprotected strike against the news of possible retrenchments here at the mine. The mine announced yesterday that four shafts will be closed and the union mine will be sold. The workers say they have no other choice but to strike and have vowed to bring the company to its knees. Govan Whittles, Eyewitness News, Rustenburg. The Justice Department is studying a North Gauteng High Court ruling that declares a law criminalizing consensual sex between children aged 12 to 16 as unconstitutional. The ruling follows an application by the Teddy Bear Clinic, supported by the Center for Child Law, challenging sections of the Sexual Offenses Act. The clinic has welcomed the ruling, saying children will now be protected from being violated by the criminal justice system. Two people have died and two more have been injured after a helicopter crashed into a crane near a rail station in central London. Witnesses have reported seeing a massive ball of flames as the wreckage plunged to the ground. Officials say it's not immediately clear what caused the crash. And Oprah Winfrey has confirmed that Lance Armstrong has admitted to doping. The seven-time Tour de France winner previously denied the rumours and even waged legal battles against some of his accusers. But Winfrey says Armstrong was candid about his past during their interview this week. I would say he did not come clean in the manner that I expected. It was surprising to me. I would say that uh, for myself, my team, all of us in the room, we were mesmerised. Uh, and riveted by some of his uh, answers. I think the most important uh, questions and the answers that, that people around the world have been waiting to hear were answered. The interview will be aired on South African television on Friday night. And with the business news, here's Mashudu Masuta. Thanks, Yuveka. Kumba Iron Ore, the world's fourth largest iron ore producer, expects lower full year earnings. Headline earnings per share are seen between 36 rand and 30 cents and 38 rand and 80 cents. The fall in earnings is as a result of a decrease in export iron ore prices in the period and the impact on production following the illegal strike at the Sishan mine. Manufacturing activity in the last quarter of 2012 fell unexpectedly. This evidence by the seasonally adjusted purchasing managers index, which contracted for the fourth consecutive month in December to 47.4 points below the critical level of 50 points. The index was pushed lower by a 2.1 points contraction in employment figures, partly due to several wage strikes within the manufacturing, mining and farming sectors of the economy. Thanks, Mashudu. Topics trending on Twitter. Stay with Eyewitness News throughout the day. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.